too many fucking guards. Keep your heads down. We'll have to find a way to distract them. That must be Lord's tent. Of course he'd take the biggest one for himself. And that tower gives a great view over their camp. More guards. Places crawling with them. Horses hate being tethered during a battle. If we can just get them loose. Enough thinking. Where do you want us? Just open some veins, Amaya. Anyone in White Hill colors is fair game. It will be as you say. Meet here once you've done your part. Good luck, Basilisk. Try not to get yourself dead, Westerosi. Can we rely on them? You can trust them to fight. Beyond that... Come on, let's get this done. Forrester boy. Make sure the little shit can't escape. But he can't run if he doesn't have legs. Do what you must. And if anything happens to me, kill him. Yes, father. Bring me my great sword. Fuck. What do we do? Now I want to make him bleed. Asher deserved better. This might be our only chance. We will kill Lord, and the White Hill army will fall apart. Quick then, before he gets away. Don't get too close. When he's distracted, we strike. You've just won this war from me coming here like this. Oh, more White Hills. <laughs> Nothing I can't handle. Which is fine by me. Makes my life that much easier. Remind me, which one's your good leg? It's over, Lord. I underestimated you, Cripple. But it won't do you any good. 
My soldiers are already tearing down your gates. They'll kill your mother, your sisters, and Ryan. Griff's cut his throat by now. Well, what are you waiting for? Basilisk. We were separated during the fight, right before I took Lud's head. He's dead. Good. I thought Beska would be here. Beska will have to take care of herself. To Ironra! Here, Don Grim, my lord. The White Hills have broken through, and the rest of their forces are closing in. We need reinforcements at the gate. Have you seen Sally. Mother? Why are you? She? Have you seen Mother? No one knows Get where she is. Now! <laughs> my lord, your command. Seize the gate! You heard your lord! Retake the gate! Oh. Now this is the war, Asha Prime. A 
was hoping to face you whole. No matter. Rally to your lord! Roderick, for the house, for all of us that fought on this day. Now.
What you did was right. I did what I had to do. I'll let you light the pyre. Your arrival has changed everything. Even though we've been preparing for it all our lives. Now we don't have much time. We were sent here for a reason. To protect the North Grove. Winter is coming. And we have a role to play in the war to come. Our father never would have wanted us to stand by and see how Forrester fall. Not while we can still do something about it. It's too late to reach Ironrath. It may already be lost. You know protecting the North Grove is the right thing to do. Those were Gregor's last words. They sent you. You should decide. House Forrester needs our help. So we'll gather our forces and march south. May the gods guide us and protect us. In the name, name of the king, I hereby sentence you to death. Bring forth the next prisoner! This young woman is accused of murdering a loyal servant of the king, who here bears witness to her crimes. I will speak to them. This woman is a traitor and a murderer! Shame, boy! <gasps> Take her head! Kill her! She's innocent! A disgrace to her family no! name! Spare her! <laughs> oh, oh, traitor! Shame! Take her head! Mira Forrester, in the sight of gods and men, and in the name of the king, End I it! sentence you to die. Shame! Raven! Kill her! If you have final words, Shame! speak them now. She's innocent! Freedom! Iron from ice! A brave She's innocent! Oh, a noble Kill death! Her. <laughs> Kneel!
Forrester. They were nothing but Stark loyalists. And the Starks are dead. Are you listening, Reek? Father wanted to make sure they'd bend the knee. And what do I find? <laughs> A child lord. Ethan the Wise. With some parasite by his side. As if I'd come to negotiate. <laughs> and I thought, oh, this is going to be fun. Mira was so devoted when we first came to King's Landing. That day Cersei dragged her before the throne, Grandmother, I was actually worried for her. But she didn't have any trouble swearing loyalty to Joffrey right in front of me. Then she had the audacity to go behind my back with Tyrion when I'd clearly forbade it. And that day she pushed me to ask Joffrey for help when he ripped my dress. It was bold, I'll give her that. But I can't forgive that she used me. And now, with all that's happened to her, who knows what else Mira was doing without my knowledge. Grandmother, it makes me question if she was ever loyal to me at all. I saw something of myself in Garrett Tuttle. I thought I could trust in him, Sam, but I was wrong. He couldn't even give me his word that he'd stay true to the vows he'd made in the Godswood. And sure enough, before a day was out, a brother was dead at the foot of the wall. I needed his sword at Craster's. I defended him to Frostfinger. And it cost me. Whatever happened up there, a man of the watch doesn't run away. Who should return then? But another Lord Forrester. Roderick. Back from the twins with balls so shrunken he let Griff White till beat him into the mud in his own yard. Reek, I had to come and see this walking tragedy for myself. But then, he jabbed out that fourthborn's eye. He killed the man who betrayed him. I was rather starting to like him. And then I thought, let's play a game. That's when the fun really started. There was something about Asher Forrester. You would have liked him, Miss Sandai. He was cocky, surely, but he wasn't uncharming. Asher needed my help. I needed to know if he deserved it, so I tested him. But there was no easy answer. But then he told me the truth. He'd risked losing all he had come here for to stand by his friend, a former slave. In the end, that mattered more than disobeying an order. I wish I could have done more for him. Perhaps, if I had, things would have turned out differently. Loyalty. Friendship. Respect. Without them, we have... nothing. I don't know if Mira ever understood that, Grandmother. I know she told me the truth about Sarah, but she also broke a promise to Sarah to keep a secret. In the end, I respect that she was willing to do whatever it took to get what she wanted. But at so high a cost. Roderick. I could have told him this story wasn't going to have a happy ending. His brother dead, his mother dead. <laughs> his little pile of timber in ruins. I just wish I'd been there to see it. That Bolton bastard let their upstart houses go to war, Father. I'm not unfamiliar with these foresters. Stubborn to the end. They fought hard, I'll give them that. But they were too bold, defiant when they should have been smart. Ruthless instead of shrewd. When will these northerners ever learn? The Starks are dead. The war is over. And they lost.
Baltric? We haven't much time. 